There is a word in the Northern Cheyenne language that means soul, stasom, and it reflects the deep belief that we are all spiritual beings. See, we believe it's not just a illness of the body, it's the illness of the entire spirit. So your mental, your physical, even your environment is important. We have to be in balance. Indian tribes in the Northern Plains, they fought for their survival of their people and also for their homelands. After these battles, the United States never assisted us with rebuilding our nations after war. That's why we live in conditions of extreme poverty, health disparities, early deaths, large rates of suicide because of the trauma. Victory in war does not bring peace. And so even today, the war is still on for us. The state of health care on Indian reservations is very dire. We're under a system that is consistently underfunded. We're invisible. We don't fit into the system of health care in our country. People have to leave the reservation to come to Billings for health care. They're met with so much hostility. The Billings Urban Indian Health Center, it's kind of become a hub for Indians. We never had a place here to go to where we could all be around each other. And so that community is really needed here because you feel so alone. Let's look at the cons of your addiction and stuff. I was in jail. I had lost my children. Yeah, just loneliness. So now we're gonna look at what is the good thing about being sober right now? I got a home and got my my baby back. It's just amazing to not be dying or be dead. So yeah, life is good. So I've been really struggling lately with uh, grief, so I'm really looking for some resources to help me. Part of the services that we provide for our Native peoples are culturally competent. We are a holistic clinic, so we try to meet your needs as a Native person in the community directly. Treating Native Americans with mental health issues or substance use issues is very challenging. Uh, these conditions themselves oftentimes create a lot of mistrust. So you compound that with generational trauma, which also creates mistrust. So we're trying to get people to come in for help when oftentimes they don't want help or don't feel they need help. Our population we serve is probably 95% Native American. So they feel connected to this community and they don't feel as though they're outsiders, but they have some place where they can connect and prosper and grow. There's definitely um, isolation and like not knowing how to handle certain situations when a professional does know how to handle those and can give you like coping techniques. I think it's just really inaccessible to many Native youth and I don't think people see it as a resource when it um, definitely is. We realize that we have to be able to take care of ourselves. You want to protect your people. So the Boys and Girls Club is a movement to help young people on the reservation. 30% of our kids are within social services of some sort. And so they come here already broken. So we do our best to help out whichever way we can. We provide the food, mentorship, just the little things that mean a big thing to them. The stereotype of Native Americans has been very damaging yeah. to the psyche of our youth. And it's our job here at the club to help them understand who they are, where they come from, and have pride in that. We re-established our memory of the different plants we use for tea. This is a, a strong antiviral antiseptic and really training the next generation to become more self-sufficient, but also infusing cultural identity in it. Just to save my own you know, mental health, every day I burn sweet grass in my classroom. In the back of my mind, you know, a lot of uh, Western people didn't let us use our medicine ways. 
makes me feel good, you know, that people are, you know, actually using a lot of our herbs and have a lot of respect for the earth. These are all types of wellness practices that we need to put in the forefront in a lot of our communities because most of the time we're in survival mode. Let's get back into healing. Utilizing our ancestral knowledge, we reinstituted the sweat lodge for the young people. It's always about healing when we go into a sweat. When the doctors say there's not more they can do, a lot of our people come to, the, to our ceremonies and this is one of them. I always say we're at the bottom of the totem pole, so us, we have to dig deep in our hope and our prayer. So we use songs and we focus on that. When you walk in there, you have a lot of trash, trying to leave it at the door. So when you come out, you, you come whole again. How do you overcome the trauma of war? And then how do you begin rebuilding? When you're at the table, sharing your understandings, creating relationships, there's a lot of momentum for hope and progress. But the resilience of the people to survive really goes back to who we are. Our traditional knowledge can be solutions, but our knowledge has to be valued. Just as us, as human beings, deserve to be valued.